Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate how we use SSML, speech synthesis markup language, to inject life into our digital humans. SSML is also used to change things like backgrounds, bring in useful informational screens, and change things such as lighting and positioning. It's also used to alter the features of our digital humans, including things like their hairstyles, clothing, voices, and even their sex. Existing voice or text-only conversational services, which have not had to consider the visual side of things in the past, can easily incorporate SSML commands into digital human responses to create lifelike multimedia experiences. So this here is a regular web page that we use to visualize the effect of SSML before applying it to conversational responses or using it to build the Trulliance virtual nervous system, which is, which is working all the time to breathe life into our digital humans. So as you can see, we've categorized all the SSML here into various sections. This is body motions, this is eyes, these are some ready-made expressions that we've, um, that we've generated. Um, so if I just show you, show you a few examples to start with, um, by clicking these links we put the tags here into this messages box and we can send this in and this will create large nodding movements. Uh, this would create a, a shaking head. Um, in the background incidentally we, we link certain words to movement so yes would always come with a nod no would come with a shake of a head if I do it again you'll get a slightly different shake of the head just to randomize things so it's not always the same um, we can show background content so if I change this to true we can bring in a default city at night scene um, although I could change that to something else if I wanted to so if I wanted a high tech scene I could um, I could change the background color so if I were to change this to false so don't show the background scene but instead a color which is up here if I change the alpha to 1 and make this 100 we should get a red background um, as I mentioned earlier we can change things like um, the hair so if I were to change this to 6 should get a different hairstyle if I change the clothes to let's say 1 from 2 she'll wear a white shirt I think there we go um, I can change the lighting here so if I go down to this um, light intensity I could change this to 17 and make it a lot brighter you may have noticed that we've had a randomized lighting going on up until this point but now it will be fixed at this lighting ID 17 I seem to remember that lighting IDs from about 24 25 onwards become outdoors so here we've got some sun rays coming in um, casting shadows over her face um, so hopefully you, you're getting the idea for what we can achieve using these SSML commands. Uh, what else could I show you? Um, well, you can see here, things, although you won't hear it in this recording, things like um, voice voices that we can choose from, voice styles we can choose from, speeds. There are also hologram modes which won't um, work here, but um, would if we were connected to a hologram uh, machine. Um, and I think that should be enough in, in showing the effect of SSML um, and how you could add it to a conversational service. So if I wanted to say hello and incorporate a smile at the end of that, I could do. And this, would, this is the type of stuff that would go into a dialogue flow conversational service, for example. And in here, I have mentioned it before, but you can see that you can alter the durations of things. Uh, so this is all in seconds, so she should say hello and then smile at the end for three and a half seconds before blending away for 0.5 seconds um, and I think that's probably enough so as I said once you're once a developer is happy with the effect of the SSML they can add it to their conversational flow um, to the things that are being said by the digital human in real time um, and we can also make the digital human react to things that are being said to them um, and all these constant little micro movements like the eyes twitching, the eyebrows moving, the blinks, 
All of this is controlled using SSML in much the same way that I've just shown you here. Um, so that's about it. Thank you. Bye-bye.